What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I have exciting news, and I know I may be like the last person to get to this because everybody got to it yesterday. Um, I had the whole entire day with my family, so it's breaking news for me that I see this new uh, bill from the Senate, the Heals Act, and I wanted to get into that um, and just really break that down and see what I think about the full bill. So. We'll get into that in just a second. Before I start, make sure you hit the like button. Also, hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And make sure you get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. All you have to do in order to get those two free stocks is deposit $100 after you open an account with Weeble. And one can be valued up to $1,400. And if you don't have $100, go over to Robinhood, sign up for an account, link your bank account, and then you'll be able to get a free stock there and get started in your journey investing. So make sure you go ahead and do that because it's always a great way to get started by getting a free stock. Anyways, so let's go ahead and get into the Heels Act today. So um, if you think about it, the first thing, if I read every article that's on here, every article really mentions the Heels Act and then it mentions the stimulus check because that's what people care about. They don't really care about all the other things. Yes, I understand that businesses care about that, um, care about um, you know the PPP loan, care about other things that may be on the stimulus packages, but most people just care about these stimulus checks. So they're searching these articles just to see what is going on with the stimulus checks. So I wanted to dive into this with more detail into the checks rather than everything else. So senators on Monday released their Republican Heals Act bill, basically the other side of things to say, this is what we want on our $1 trillion bill um, compared to your $3.3 trillion bill. In this Heals Act, just like I said, there's going to be a second stimulus check of $1,200 to help keep Americans afloat. In addition, uh, there will be new legislation for the unemployment assistance. And those are the two things that people care about the most is unemployment and the stimulus checks. But we'll get into some of the other stuff and um, maybe in another video we'll break down exactly like the difference between the HEROES Act and the HEALS Act and see how it will be debated. As someone that likes to debate things, um, we can talk about that. The Senate proposal is the next step towards negotiating the economic package and then signing it into law, which is 100% true. People think that this is final and that they're going to see this bill and then all of a sudden this is what's going to take place. No, there has to be a negotiation. This is really just the beginning and we have to go from there. Um, all of the people that are saying uh, this is what the stimulus check is going to be. Now, that I probably sort of agree with. It's going to be $1,200. It's just depending if we're going to have a $500 dependent credit or we're going to have the $1,200 dependent check. You never really know exactly how that's going to play out. But right now in the HEROES Act, it's just a difference of, you know, a couple hundred dollars um, for dependents rather than having that $500 for dependents. Until the House and the Senate reach an agreement, expect rounds of bipartisan negotiation as lawmakers hammer out the bill. Congress has until August 7th, the last day before another month-long Senate recess to decide. Now, I don't think that they'll get to this long. If you haven't seen my timeline video, make sure you check out my timeline video. If it does happen um, at the end of July, so literally in the next couple of days, then you know we should be expecting a check by a certain date. And then if we have the uh, August 7th date to where they do approve it then, um, then we would expect a check at a later date um, towards the end of August. So let's go ahead and get into the details here. So what it would do, let's talk about the, the payments. Let's talk about the the stimulus checks right now. Um, it would provide $1,200 for single taxpayers and head of households, $2,400 for those married filed and jointly. Now it would decrease 5% per dollar of qualified income over $75,000 per year for individuals, $112,500 for head of household and $150,000 for joint taxpayers. It would be based off your 2019 and 2018 tax returns. And it will also offer the $500 additional payment for uh, dependents. One difference from the CARES Act is that that $500 additional payment for eligible dependents will be expanded beyond qualified children. It's basically going to include adult dependents and those with no income. This may expand the number of eligible dependents by 26 million people, which is a good thing. I mean, it's going out to more people, more money going out to more people. But like I said, I think it needs to be a little bit more money. Everybody was hoping for 
$2,000 per month. And the best thing right now is what you can get in the Heroes Act, which is $1,200 of a single payment plus the $1,200 of a dependent. So that's the best option right now, unless they suddenly decide that they wanted to do monthly payments. But since we're pretty much in the same spot for these areas, I would imagine that we're going to be close to that. Now, the unemployment, this is what a lot of people talk about as well, because obviously people need unemployment if they're unemployed because of the shutdown then they need money so the original was six hundred dollars per week of federal unemployment compensation on top of state level compensation through july 25th the heels act proposes a supplemental benefit of two hundred dollars per week and starting in october this will be replaced with a payment that replaced 70 percent of a recipient's loss wages when combined with state UI compensation up to $500 per week. This would be determined through a formula or an alternative method proposed by states. This is a little bit weird. I mean, I think they need to make it as simple as possible because this is not easy for a normal person to understand. And really all they see is $200 and it's just not enough for some people. I feel like for people that completely lost their jobs, it's just not enough. And to play that game to where you're waiting um, and you know going through going through the motions until October, and then you implement something to where it's more complex and will narrow down the people that need it. You never know exactly who needs the full benefit of $600 and who really only needs $200 or who doesn't really need anything. They're just unemployed to be unemployed. Um, so this is where this is where it's tough um i feel like they should have cut it in half uh maybe went went there or you know stick with the 600 dollars. i know that's that's a lot but if we just took out the unemployment benefit altogether and just put it in the stimulus checks i feel like that would have been a way better option than giving people unemployment i mean those are the two important parts that people care about now i'll get into what else it offers um just a little bit the heels act also offers an increased employment retention tax credit which we can get into in another video um, expansion of work opportunity tax credit creation of a new refundable payroll tax credit for coronavirus expenses temporary full deduction for business meals more flexibility for states using coronavirus relief funds emergency appropriations which basically is the area to where you're going to help out schools so they allotted 306 billion dollars in emergency appropriations for coronavirus health response including 105 billion dollars to help students return to school in the fall also liability protection this is something that they wanted on here and i'm i'm surprised that it's last on this list i don't know how it is on the bill i need to actually check it out that's really how everything stands and I wanted to dig into a lot more but the video would just be extremely long and I don't like making extremely long videos so um, that's what you need to worry about right now this is the other side of things this is not final don't think that these checks and this unemployment will start up like right now we still need negotiations we still need to go about that and then you know we can take it from there that's what it's all about we have the republican side we have the democratic side and we just need to bring that together so we'll definitely make more videos on a lot of uh, this bill to see exactly what people are thinking also to see how this compares as well so um, make sure you hit the like button on this video also hit the subscribe button for more videos like this one make sure you hit that little notification bell so you're always notified when I post another video, whether it's stimulus check related or personal finance or, you know, credit cards, anything, you know, hit the hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. Also, get your two free stocks with Webull down below. All you have to do is deposit $100 and sign up with Webull and uh, you'll get two free stocks, one which could be valued up to $1,400. Um, and if you don't have $100 to deposit, go over to Robinhood, sign up for Robinhood, link your bank account, and then you'll get a free stock. So that's it, guys. I'm going to have to get out of here. And until next time, I'll see you guys later.
What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So today I wanted to talk to you about the difference between what they're offering in the Heels Act and what they're offering in the Heroes Act a little bit. So before I start, make sure you hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button for more videos just like this one. And I do a giveaway every single week. And all you have to do, and make sure you get your two free stocks with... <clears throat> And make sure you get your two free stocks with Weeble down below. All you have to do is deposit $100 after you sign up with Weeble and you'll get two free stocks, one of which could be valued up to $1,400. Um, and if you don't have $100, go over to Robinhood, check my Robinhood link out, sign up for Robinhood and link your bank account and you'll get a free stock there. So it's always great to get started and that's how you do it. Now, let's talk about exactly what... Now, when we think of, now there's a lot of excitement right now because of the fact that we have the Senate side, what they, what they want in their $1 trillion bill. And we've had the HEROES Act for 